Hello guys, today I want to show you how to extend a Laravel package with your own behavior with object-oriented programming extending the class. This will be one example based on extending a model from a package Spotty Laravel tags, but you can implement a similar behavior in any package extending any class. This will be just one example, one practical example of how to change a behavior of a package. Like for example, if package doesn't support some field and you need that field in the database, you can create it yourself. This was a similar example in one of my projects. So we installed Spotty Laravel tags to have taggable behavior. So for example, if we read the documentation, you can attach news item with tags. But my problem with it was that I needed tag types. And the package allows to have tag types and it has a field. So if we go to the migration of tags table, there is a type. But the problem is that it is string. I wanted to have a separate table of tag types and then a foreign ID relationship to that tag type. So how do you do that? The package table doesn't have type ID or anything. Well, we can create it. So the package creates the migration, which creates that table. But no one is preventing us from extending that table afterwards. So we can create, for example, what I did, tag types table, database table, which is outside of the package, then tag type model related to that table. I basically just executed PHP artisan make model tag type with migration, and then another migration, PHP artisan make migration add type ID to tags table, which would be foreign ID to tag types. So I'm using the same table that the package uses, but I'm adding a field to it. So the main thing, the main lesson is that you can extend and even override sometimes the fields of the database from the packages. Of course, be careful with that because you can break the package behavior, but to add some functionality, for example, it's pretty safe, I would say. Of course, you should make it nullable then just in case if there is already some data in the database, but it worked. And then the main thing, how do we define that in the model? So that package comes with the model, tag PHP, if we go to a vendor and then navigate to spot, see Laravel tags, source, and then tag PHP, it extends model, it's just an eloquent model. And we need to define the relationship inside of that model, relationship public function tag type belongs to, but we cannot edit vendor files, right? But we can extend it with our own model. So we can do PHP artisan make model tag, which would be our own model with the same name. But if we open that tag PHP, it would work by default with the same tags database, but it would extend not the model, but we're extending the tag model, the tag class from the package. So extends tag, which would automatically extend the model, but also adding the behavior of the tag. And in here, in our model, we can do whatever we want. It's not in vendor, public function, tag type, return, this belongs to tag model class like this. Let's try to fill some data. So we have tags table as empty. And then I've opened artisan tinker. And according to the package documentation, you can run tag create. But then what tag are we using our model or spotty tag? By default, it is the model. And let's try to add name something. And let's see, will it work or not? We create and then although we're using app model stack as it extends the spotty tag, it automatically transforms our name into JSON with slug with order column and all the behavior of spotty package. Now, what if we add tag type ID in the database table of tag types? I've added a few types and also what we need to do here is to add that to fillable if we want to use it with create. So tag type ID and name probably. Let's try to add that. So I've restarted the tinker and tag type ID, for example, one. Would it work? Yes, it's saved tag type ID. And now what we can do is tags equals tag with relationship of tag type get. And let's see, would it return tag type? Hmm. For some reason, it is null. Although tag type ID is one, tag type is null. Maybe the relationship isn't correct. Oh, of course, the relationship should be for tag type. 
I should have noticed that in the beginning of this video. So let's try again. If we make any changes, by the way, we need to restart the Tinker again. If you don't want to do that, you can use a tool called Tinkerwell, which is not free, but it's also a great Tinker kind of client on steroids. So we run the same thing again. And now we get our tag type as a relationship. So this is just an example how you can extend the behavior of a package by kind of overriding it with your own model, extending the original model, but adding your own behavior. Again, every situation is different and you may run into some issues overriding that. So be careful with that, retest everything. But in general, it follows the same principles as object-oriented programming with extending the classes. If you want a deeper dive on that topic of object-oriented programming and extending classes, I would suggest one of my courses, Solid Code in Laravel, which talks about a lot of interfaces and solid principles. So all those letters of S-O-L-I-D are basically about object-oriented programming and what should extend what and why. So you can take that course or subscribe to the yearly membership to get all of my courses. The links will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.